when choosing an infant formula make sure it is not expired make sure the container is sealed and in good condition if there are any leaks puffy ends or rust spots do not feed it to your infant talk with your child's doctor or nurse if you have questions about choosing an infant formula for your baby or if you are thinking of switching infant formula brand or type there are several types of commercially prepared infant formula commercial formula from cow's milk formula from cow's milk may be processed to be high in whey proteins this formula may be easier for the young infant to digest formula that is high in casein protein can be more difficult for the young infant to digest as it forms thick curds in the infant's stomach the higher protein and mineral level make it less suitable for young infants unless healthcare professionals suggest otherwise first infant formula is the only formula your baby needs your baby can stay on it when you start to introduce solid foods at around six months and drink it throughout their first year there's no evidence that switching to a different formula does any good or harm however if you think a particular brand of formula disagrees with your baby talk to a health care professional they can help you decide whether to try a different type when your baby is one year old they can start to drink whole cow's milk or sheep or goat's milk as long as it's pasteurized lactose-free formula is suitable from birth but only under medical supervision this formula is suitable for babies who are lactose intolerant this means they cannot absorb lactose which is a sugar that's naturally in milk and dairy products lactose intolerance is rare in babies Symptoms include diarrhea, abdominal pain, wind, and bloating. Lactose-free formula is available in shops and pharmacies. However, if you think your baby may be lactose intolerant, it's important to speak to a health care provider. Soya infant formula uses processed soya beans as the source of protein and comes in powdered form. Usually it is lactose-free and has a different sugar added instead. It's occasionally used as an alternative to cow's milk formula for babies who have cow's milk allergy. There are some concerns about the fact that soya contains phytoestrogens. These are found naturally in some plants. The chemical structure of phytoestrogens is similar to the female hormone estrogen. Because of this, there are concerns that they could affect a baby's reproductive development especially in babies who drink only soya-based infant formula. Babies' low body weight means they take in much higher amounts of phytoestrogens than older children or adults who eat soya products as part of a varied and balanced diet. Also, because soya formula contains glucose, it is more likely to harm babies' teeth. Only use soya formula if it has been recommended or prescribed by a health professional. Follow-on, or follow-up, milks are marketed for older infants, over six months. They contain higher levels of protein and are less modified than infant formula. Follow-on formula should never be fed to babies under six months. Research shows that switching to follow-on formula at six months has no benefits for your baby. Follow-on milks are not necessary. Your baby can continue to have first infant formula as their main drink, until they are one year old. The labels on follow-on formula can look very similar to those on first infant formula. Read the label carefully to avoid making a mistake. Low birth weight or preterm formula is manufactured with higher levels of protein and certain minerals, and a different mixture of sugars than ordinary formula for full-term infants. Low birth weight formula is not recommended for healthy, full-term infants. The nutritional needs of low birth weight infants should be individually assessed. Specialized formulas are available to use in conditions such as lactose intolerance, allergic conditions, and metabolic diseases like phenylketonuria. These formulas are altered in one or more nutrients and should only be used for infants with the specific conditions under medical nutritional supervision. 
Generic formula only differs in the way it is marketed and distributed. The nutrients are similar to regular commercial formula.